Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another product review video and the palette that I'm going to be reviewing is this baby. So it's called the Perception Palette. It's a, it's a collaboration between a YouTuber, Makeup Sheila and Colourpop. So, uh, so the pack, this is what it looks like and it retails for $23. The packaging of this is bomb AF. It's bomb. I love it. Honestly, in the first place, I bought this palette just for the packaging because I've tried Colourpop shadows. I know how they perform. I know they're long lasting and everything. They're amazing. I love Colourpop shadows. This is, the, what the, this is what the palette looks like. You get 16 shades in it and this is what it looks like from inside and you get a full size mirror in this. And so other Colourpop palettes, they don't have um, a mirror like this one I have here. They don't have a mirror and they, uh, they had 12 shades on this. So yeah, and I also have this uh, this gloss sl uh, slash lip topper. They also had um, uh, lipsticks and uh, loose highlighters. Personally, I don't wear loose highlighters, so I don't like them. I didn't buy it, and they were quite, kind of deep for my skin tone. So yeah, this is what this is, these are the two things that I got. So yeah, let me quickly show you the, the swatches of this palette. So, uh, uh, so this is what it looks like. You get um, 12 shimmer shades in this and four matte shades. And yeah, you it's a very good color scheme, I think. You have a blue, a green, and a pink, and you know, and these colors, these are like everyday colors. This, uh, so these are matte shades, four of the matte shades. These are pretty standard. This orange is calling my name, it's called, okay. I haven't touched any of these shades, uh, n not even once, uh, only I'm filming this intro for the third time. Yeah, let me quickly show you the swatches of, uh, of some of these shades. I'm barely touching the pan and there's a lot coming onto this on my finger. This is what it looks like. Oh, they look so promising. Oh. So the first shade is called TF. So guys, this is my first eyeshadow palette review. Please bear with me. Anyway, so this is this is a, the one. This is only one swipe. It looks so pretty. It is. It it's called TF. It's like the pretty gold shade. And a second shade is called this this green shade. It's called IE. It's so pretty and it's so vibrant. I'm surprised. So next shade is called. 14. It's this pretty blue shade. Woo, they look so promising. And next up we have September, which is a very bright pink. I like these colors already. But yeah, um, so yeah, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the shade of culture, which is the uh, which is a standard crease color a pretty brown shade and I'm gonna put this so the the pan has a lot of fallout as you can see but it's okay I it, it doesn't bother me at all so I'm just gonna put this onto my crease and by the way I have primed my lid it lids using the using what did I use using this makeup revolution concealer I really love it for priming my lids and I set it with the ColourPop loose loose powder I think it's called no filter loose powder and the view on this is coming very soon so I'm just gonna put this color into my crease I have no idea the kind of look I'm going for but we're just gonna go with the flow actually I'm gonna move on to a bigger brush I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go back to the shade I just switched my brush ah, a lot of fallout look color is pretty easy to blend just putting it all over my crease very roughly I'm just, I'm not do uh, I'm not doing anything very precisely so blah, 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 we put this shade I'm going to move on to a smaller uh, brush, a smaller blending brush, and I'm going to go into this orange shade, this one, and I'm going to put this, oh, this color does not have any fallout, that's nice, it was only that color, 
and I'm gonna precisely put this in the lower part of my crease I'm slowly building this color up oh no it is very vibrant This color had no kickback whatsoever, and the previous shade we used in the crease had a lot of fail, uh, kickback. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go back to the first brush we used, and I'm gonna further blend it. so easy to blend and they look super good on my eye so and now i think i'm gonna take uh i don't know which shade i want to put all over my lid because there are a lot of choices i'm gonna take uh, this uh, green color uh, this olive green color it's called ie and i'm gonna put this all over my lid i'm gonna use a very small packing brush like this one and i'm gonna put it all over my lid let's see how much color does it have As you can see, the shade is pretty intense. I did not brush, I did not wet my brush with any fix plus or any setting spray. Yeah, now I'm gonna move on. Now I'm going to move on to a brush like this one and I'm going to take this shade called Revenge and I'm going to put it on the outer part of my eye. Fall out. I'm going to put it on the outer part and I'm also dragging it into my crease and not, uh, not like, uh, I'm just dragging it halfway. I'm, I'm taking a clean brush and I'm gonna blend everything together even more okay. so before I put any eyeliner on I'm gonna quickly put glue onto my lashes Yes, your girl got the hang of it. Okay, now I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. It is my only favorite. It's the Hyper Sharp Liner. Again, if you wanna know how I put my eyeliner on, you can go watch a dedicated video on this. So we're gonna put this well, uh, Essence Volume Stylist. Okay, so the lashes are nicely coated and by the way the lashes that I'm using are the same ones from the Ardell pack. I'm gonna go and put the lashes on real quick and be right back. Okay, so I am back and it took me billion years to put lashes on. Anyway, but we got there. So yeah, so now my eye under eyes are lacking some shadows, they look so dead. So I'm gonna take a brush like this one and I'm gonna put some so I'm gonna put uh, this orange shade thick under my eye.
like this one and I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put the shade unbothered this one in my inner corner and the brow bone First, I'm gonna add this Rimmel Scandalous Eye Pencil in this uh, in the shade Nude in the waterline. Now I'm gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line. Okay. So now I'm gonna apply some um, uh, some lipstick so we can uh, and then we're gonna test this baby out. So I'm putting the shade uh, I'm putting Mag in the shade um, Velvet Teddy onto my. is on and now I'm gonna put this baby on it, the packaging of this is so cute and it's the shade Need Freak okay it's very thick hmm it is very clear it's very sheer sheer It is a sheer gloss. It is really pretty. And it has this applicator, regular applicator. So my final thoughts on the palette and this lip gloss is that the palette is super super pretty. It is absolutely stunning. You get a variety of shade in such a small amount of money and the shadows are super easy to work with. They are super blendable and you get you can get so many looks out of this palette and I think if you're a beginner you should definitely give this palette a try. Baby, um, it, this baby is super super lightweight and I, uh, I think um, I don't even feel like I'm wearing any gloss onto my lips. The formula is, is very sheer. I um and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. This baby retails for six dollars. So to, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. I had so much fun making this video since it was my first eyeshadow palette review. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below your request and and subscribe to my channel before you leave. But don't forget to check out my previous videos and, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.